To succeed in making a beautiful paint job that will look great and stand the test of time, you will need to follow the four perfect paint steps. 1. Choose the right colors. 2. Choose the right products and of the best quality. 3. Prepare the surface and the appropriate way. 4. Apply the paint properly. Step 1. Choose the right colors. The most important is to choose a color that fits your taste, a color that reflects your personality. To find inspiration and create nice color schemes, you can consult interior design magazines or the Seco color cards and visit www.seco.ca. The colors that first attract your attention are usually the ones that will best fit your taste. Look at the color samples in the room to be painted in the morning, afternoon, and nighttime to consider all the light shifts that occur during the day. Also consider the size of the room, the surrounding colors and textures, the floor, furniture, natural wood moldings, etc. Step 2. Choose the right products and of the best quality. First, we recommend that the primer and the paint come from the same manufacturer. They are made for each other. Otherwise, you could experience adherence or incompatibility problems. Now, identify the elements you want to paint. Ceilings, walls, wood moldings, furniture, etc. to select the right paint. If a ceiling needs to hide light reflection, we recommend a matte finish Moldings and doors need a gloss finish or semi-gloss finish that can easily be cleaned and scrubbed. Furthermore, these finishes make all the richness of their design stand out. We recommend a paint specifically designed for such use, like the Seco Doors and Trim Paint. You will have more choice when it comes to painting the walls of the different rooms. Maybe you prefer a very light gloss finish that will give deepness to your colors and not worry about maintenance. If you choose cashmere paint from Seco, you will be delighted to work with a top quality paint and primer in one, easy to use with no VOC, that offers a beautiful trendy matte finish and very good resistance to cleaning which other similar finishes don't. Once you have selected the paint, check its coverage on the side of the container and determine the quantity you will need. The Seco.ca website offers a free calculating tool that will also help you estimate the quantity of the paint you need. Step 3. Prepare the surface the appropriate way. We often neglect to properly prepare the surface before painting, although it is the number one cause of problems in most painting projects. All surfaces must be clean and dry. Eliminate all contaminants like dust, fingerprints, grease, and all the usual dirt caused by everyday life. Make sure to use a cleaner that will not leave any soap residue behind. If surfaces are glossy or uneven, sand them using a 120 grade sanding paper. Get rid of all peeling paint using a spatula or a scraper. Sand all surfaces to be repaired with a 120 grade sanding paper. Repair all damaged surfaces with the appropriate putty and sand a second time. Once putty has dried, sand with a 120 grade sandpaper. If needed, use the appropriate latex caulk to fix all cracks. Apply a first coat of primer to the repairs only. Now complete your preparation by applying a primer coat to the whole wall. On new gypsum panels, or to hide a strong color, it is essential to apply a primer sealer coat like Go Prime Duo 100% Acrylic Latex Primer Sealer and Undercoater Interior Paint. If you need to paint old plaster or repairs, or if you need to hide water infiltration traces or graffiti, use Go Prime All in One Alkalide Emulsion Primer Sealer Undercoater with Stain Killer. Step 4. Apply the paint properly. Always use superior quality tools. On smooth surfaces like gypsum boards, use professional grade 10 mm roller for the walls and 13 to 15 mm roller for ceilings. With water-based paints, top quality 50 to 64 mm brushes of nylon and polyester will facilitate the job. The ideal room temperature is about 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity should be around 30 to 55 percent. 
The right way to paint a room is to go from top to bottom. Paint the ceiling first, then the windows, doors, plinths, and finally the walls. That way you have less chance to scuff a surface you just painted. Starting in a corner, trim the ceiling using a paintbrush. When painting a ceiling, it is preferable to apply the paint widthwise rather than lengthwise. Overlays will not show as much. Paint sections of 2 feet by 4 feet or 60 to 120 centimeters at a time using a roller and making a W design. Without the roller leaving the surface, fill the W design. Smooth the surface going from the unpainted section towards the painted section. Proceed in the same manner for all sections until the whole ceiling is painted. Repeat the same steps for all subsequent coats of paint. It is ideal to apply two coats, even though the first coat seems enough initially. The final result will only be truly apparent a couple of days later. Before you paint walls, you should paint the windows, the doors, and the moldings. This way the trimming of the colors will be easier and faster. To paint walls, proceed in the following manner. Starting in a corner, trim one wall at a time using a paintbrush. Then paint a section of about 2 feet by 4 feet or 60 to 120 centimeters using the roller and making a W design. Without the roller leaving the surface, fill the W design with paint. Now draw another W underneath the first section and then fill this new W design with paint. Roll the roller vertically over the two sections since some rollers can leave a different texture depending on the direction the paint was applied. Repeat the same steps beside the first section. Proceed in the same manner for all sections until the whole wall is painted. Repeat the same steps for all subsequent coats of paint. It is ideal to apply two coats even though the first coat seems enough initially. The final result will only be truly apparent a couple of days later.